Ukraine plans to increase by 100% the country's military spending next year to 50 billion hryvnias, some 3.2 billion dollars, Defense Minister Stepan Balterak told the parliament on Friday. When approving the draft budget, the Defense Ministry judged from threats posed before the country and the need to form well-trained and well-equipped armed forces, Balterak said. Some 40,000 people will be called up for Ukrainian military service next year, bringing the number of troops to 250,000, the minister added. A cache of ammunition and explosives belonging to Ukrainian militants have been found in Donetsk, the press service of the Interior Ministry of the Donetsk People's Republic reports. The cache contained large amount of F-1 and RG-42 hand grenades, anti-tank rocket propelled grenades, 15 kilo of plastic explosive, capsules and detonators and other explosive materials. There were also a radio transmitter and ID papers, along with banking cards issued in the name of a native of Donetsk. The West's attempt to distort reality and shuffle off the blame on the events in Ukraine to Russia will fail, Russia's ambassador to the OECE, Andrei Kellen, said on Friday. The OECE ministerial session in Basel on December 4-5 succeeded in determining common approach, despite the existence divergencies on the assessment on the causes of the Ukrainian crisis, he said. Our colleagues called all this bashfully a complicated situation. They tried to shuffle off the blame to Russia for pushing Kyiv to bomb cities and destroy the infrastructure. Structure. The attempt to distort reality will fail, he added. A freight train carrying a whole column of American armored vehicles have been caught on camera in Latvia. Dalbea railway station, where the train was reportedly spotted several days ago, is less than 300 kilometers from the Russian border. The train was carrying at least 38 vehicles and several semi-trailers, including 8 Bradley fighting vehicles, 9 M113 armored personnel carriers, 4 patrol tankers, heavy expanded mobility tactical trucks, high mobility multipurpose wheeled vehicles, and M8 88 Hercules Armory Recovery Vehicle, a couple of trucks, some tactical engineering and medical vehicles, at least four containers and a pair of railcars with ammunition. We thank our information partners for help with spreading this video news. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.